Okay, good morning folks. It's the last morning here. Uh, it's like 6 a.m. Right before the morning bite starts, we're going to do a little catch and cook. So what you're looking at here is some crushed up pretzels. I have to crush them up more. These are Dots pretzels out of North Dakota. Um, so this is going to be the batter and I've, I've actually seen guys use this before. This is nothing new. Um, people swear by it, but anyway. Um, and they are very, very good pretzels. Too bad you can't find them back east. So I have this uh, can here. Gotta crush it up nice and very finely crushed. Okay, in a couple of minutes it looks like that. So the next step, we have some eggs. Oops, is there a shell in there? Oh, I don't know about that, just... Yeah, I think we're good. Oh no, there's a the shell. Uh, we're gonna crack about five eggs. All right, now I'm just gonna close the bag, scramble them. This is a nice way to scramble, actually. Take all of our fish from the fish bag, put them into the egg bag. Now we blend the fish and the eggs. Sorry. So now we're gonna put the fish from the egg wash into the pretzel bag. Careful, you're getting egg everywhere. Yeah, and I gotta save some egg too. Give it a pretzel wash. Mix the eggy fish with the pretzel mixture. Yeah, we're, we won't need this after we take them out. And then we're going to give it the fish a double soak in the eggs. Use me a second soak, right? Yes, a second soak. So, and might as well just throw that shit in there. Okay, that can go in the garbage. And mix this around one more time. Um, we could even get the grill going. You want to do the honors? Yeah, it's going to blow. Yeah. It always does. There we go. All right, so we're just Mike's got the grill going. We're just going to wait for it to heat up and we're ready to cook. Okay. Now we put the fish on. Let's see if it doesn't We got one more fillet. Yeah, this is too full, but that's okay. Alright, we can dispose of that. Where's the hand sanitizer? Right here. Oh. Alright, Mike's uh, tending to the fish. It looks like it's Getting close. Um, the pretzel layer. Yeah, the pretzel layer. We might have made a mistake with uh, how we did the batter, but I noticed on the ingredients for those pretzels, there's a lot of MSG in there, so they should it should still impart some good some good flavor. All right, uh, we're gonna plate this momentarily and uh, I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, guys, I know the lighting's terrible at this time of day in here, so uh, that's why I have the flashlight in my hand. Mike is here. Woo! Um, all right, so we're just gonna taste it. You know, it didn't come out uh, looking like how I wanted it to, but um, we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it a taste. I think it's. I think it's gonna be delicious. Let's let's. First impression. Let's see here. Without any salt or pepper. Just try. It. Same time. Wait, wait, wait. Let's cheers. Eh. Cheers. Cheers. That's cooked fish. That's cooked fish. It's it's decent. I can taste the egg actually. Um, I would say I can't taste the pretzel as much, but I feel like the fish would not taste nearly like. Uh, I think it did impart some good seasoning to it. But yeah, walleye. If you've never had it, delicious. It's pretty flaky. Some pepper on that stuff. Moist. 
It's a very like I mean it's kind of a mild flavor, but it's very it's like mild, yeah. It's mild but it's very edible. Mm -hmm. Any other mm. impressions? I think the I think the egg wash and the pretzel was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The but egg wash and pretzel, good idea. I think it'll be crushed a little finer, maybe. Yeah. Just because they made it cooking all slow. Yeah, so I thought I crushed it real fine with that beer can, but I think we could have crushed it a lot finer to like a powder and it might have worked a little bit better. It might have stuck a little better. We're a little at a loss for kitchen implements. Stuff yeah, here, yeah. So. we don't have a, like a rolling pin or anything. Anyway, um, so it's our last day. We're, we got a different uh, deep house today. So we're going to try that out and uh, after we do the morning bike here. So that that's probably the first thing you'll see. Who knows? Anyway, okay. I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, well you're probably wondering, where do you go to the bathroom out here? So this is called a Biffy. It's like an outhouse, it basically is an outhouse. I guess the difference being instead of having like a well that you do your business into, it has a bucket. So I'm not just going to go in the bucket, by the way this isn't going to be graphic, don't worry I'm not going to film that part of course, but, um, so you line it with a, a plastic garbage bag. Put it back under the spot. You see, you, now it's time to go. Um, by the way, with negative temperatures, you can imagine, um, it's pretty, and I'm gonna keep my coat on first of all. So your cheeks are gonna be very cold when they first hit the thing, but you get used to it. All right, I'm gonna go, and then uh, we'll meet you on the other side. Okay, so when you're done, I've slid the, you slide the bucket back out, you take your bag, it up and Mike and I have just been bringing bags out like when we need to go but um, usually there's there's bags here and you're probably gonna want to uh, to replace the bag for the next person but we're gonna let Mike do it himself okay so uh, then when you, uh, you you just toss this to the outside to the side of the biffy and at a place like this, the staff comes and they collect it and they dispose of it however they dispose of it. Um, and of course, uh, remember when you get back into your uh, shanty to, uh, to use some hand sanitizer, just in case. All right. So, boom, they'll come and get it later. Let's fish. <laughs> 